Boy, this is gonna be a fun video to edit. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm doing my very first makeup routine and I'm very excited about it because I feel like I finally have like a go-to natural makeup routine. So the first thing I did was my daily skincare routine and if you want to see that video it's going to be linked in the description box. So first I'm going to get started with Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer in 3.5 N. So I'm just going to apply my concealer on my cheek areas where I want it to be just smoothed out, even things out, you know? A little bit on the nose. I'm not gonna put it in the darker areas of my face or forehead. I don't think I need it on my forehead. Then I'm gonna blend it out with this blender. I, it's, it's not the beauty blender. I got it at Namie's. I really like it. Hey, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. So next I'm gonna go in with the concealer that I use for my eyes. It is Max Studio Finish Concealer NC35. And it's just, it's my go-to concealer. I've been using it since I was 22. And I like this shade because it makes my eyes a little bit more brighter. I don't have dark circles really, but it does add a little pop to it. It looks crazy on camera. It don't look that crazy in real life, but it look crazy on camera. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. I don't think I've ever said that before in my life. What's going on? What's going on? Um, I think I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose. Don't worry, we gonna blend it all the way out. I don't do a full contour situation, but I will um, just kind of use some bronzer around the darker areas of my face. And um, today I'm gonna be using Glowish by Huda Beauty. Now I'm gonna use a uh, Max Blot Pressed Powder in the color Deep Dark. Oh, it looks like this. It's a pressed powder, so I feel safe using it all over. So now that I have everything blended out, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows and use the Brow Gal uh, Crayon Stencil in the color Black. I use black because my hair is black and I don't do a whole thing with my brows. I just want to fill it in and get them a little bit darker, a little bit fuller. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and it is going to be Max Royal Rendezvous Matte Eyeshadow. And I like this color because it's kind of like a mauve with like a little purple undertone kind of thing going on.
So now I'm gonna add a little shimmer to my face. I'm gonna be using Tarte's Pro Glow thing here. And I'm gonna start with, um, I like to do Stunner. Yeah, and then I'm gonna blend this out all together. And then I'm gonna use that same color stunner and I'm just gonna highlight a little bit on my face. Hold please. Okay, sorry I had to handle some business. Um, I'm back and I'm looking at my face in the camera, in the mirror, and it's just, shout out to all the makeup artists on YouTube because this is not as easy as it looks to film and seeing what it looks like on camera and then seeing what it looks like on my laptop and in the mirror, the real life look, it's just different. So I'm a little shiny right now and I wanna tone that down. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with the MAC pressed powder in that color. I may go even further with the NYX Professional Mineral Matte Finishing Powder because I'm really going for that matte look because my skin gets, you know, oily in the common oil places. So just a little bit. <laughs> I look white. We're just gonna keep pressing through. This is going to turn out right, okay? Actually gonna go in with a little bit more bronzer. See what I mean? Like on camera, I'm looking at it and it's like, it's not looking like it's enough bronzer. And then in the mirror, it's like, it's, it is a lot of bronzer. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna be using the Stila Custom Color Blush. Where's the color? We don't know, it don't say, but it looks like that. Just a soft pink kind of, you know. Then I'm gonna just blend everything. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this Evian um, facial spray to just kind of set everything. Oh wait, let me show what it looks like. Maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna <laughs> I spray it all over my mirror. Now it looks more natural for me on camera. So I'm not gonna be doing like a hard line on my eyelid or a wing or anything like that because I really want it to be as natural as possible. So I'm going to use this Physicians Formula eyeliner and I'm just gonna go under the lash to just make my lash line a little bit darker. How is this gonna work? Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Okay, so I'm back, so I hope you can tell that I put the liner under my eyelid and I packed it on thick so it'll stand out a little bit more. And then I put some on the corners of my eyes because I got a makeup note once where if you feel like your eyes are really close together, putting liner just in the corners will kind of give the illusion of them not being so close. So I've been doing that since I learned that tip when I was in I don't know, high school. So I just put it on the corners instead of putting it all the way under. So now I'm gonna add a little mascara. It's the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. You 
you can already tell the difference. So I do like to look like Bambi with my eyelashes. So I put some on the bottom. Okay, now just wait one second so you can see the full look. I'm back and this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I certainly like it. I wasn't sure about it at first because as it was happening and looking how it's seeing, you know, how it looks on the viewfinder on my camera and the computer and the mirror, it's all different. But the final look, I like it a lot. I added a little lip gloss. It is my go-to, my OG. I've been using it since I was 17. And it is Lancome's Juicy Tube in Caramel Gospel. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my day. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comments and I will put everything that you need in the description box. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.